Here's a killer workout. It's gonna hit every part of your body. Okay. Make sure you keep your body strong and centered. These are luggage racks with a squat. Make sure the booty's sticking out and extend the arms all the way. It's not how fast you go, it's more how direct and form you go. Be mindful of how your back feels and your knees feel. Keep on pushing. This would definitely burn every system in your body. Here we go with the Russian twists. And we're going to go with the four count and the four pulses in the lunge. We're gonna switch legs. Perfect, feel the burn there. Okay, hitting the core. We're gonna go with the four pulses for the lunge. Good, we're gonna switch again. Keep it tight, okay? Don't twist the hips, keep the hips forward, only the upper torso. All right, hitting the lunge. Okay. If you're having a hard time with the lunge due to the knees, then stand up straight and lift the knees instead. Good, one arm snatches, we're not taking this to the floor. We're modifying it for those who cannot quite bend. Tricep extensions to get rid of the looseness behind the arms. Again, one arm snatch, keeping it tall, keeping the diaphragm and the rib cage up, keeping the elbow as tight as possible in the front. Good, and keep it moving, okay? Nice and power move, it's definitely a power move. Good, let's work the back of the arm. Your body's probably feeling like jello, that's a good thing, let's just keep on going. You can pause this video at any time, you can also increase more reps or sets. It's up to you. You create the intensity. We're gonna go with the dumbbell curtsy curl, okay? And frontal raise for the shoulder, okay? You can increase the weights if this is too light for you. This is a five pounder. You can go as heavy as you need to. Remember, weights further away from the body can really damage the joints, so make sure that you're being careful. Perfect. Always breathe through the nose and out through the mouth. We're gonna go with the round the world. If you have shoulder issues, be careful. Don't twist the hips. It's the upper torso. Keep with the rhythm. Going with around the world. Remember, modify for you if you can. We're gonna go with a tricep extension. Just hold the heads of the dumbbell. Keep the elbows as forward as possible and modify for you if you cannot do this. We're gonna go with around the world again. Nice and easy, keeping the hips forward. Not so much rotation in the hips. We're gonna go with the tricep extension one more time. Bring the attitude. Really, really, really feel the burn. Nice form. We're gonna work the shoulder, a lateral raise to the side, or the middle side of the deltoid. And we're gonna go with a hammer curl. Another set of lateral raises. And a hammer curl. We're gonna switch sides, same thing. Lift that shoulder, keep the elbow soft, and lock that wrist, and hammer curl. Once again, you can increase the intensity by the weight you use, adding more sets or more reps. That is your choice. We're gonna go with a sumo and an upright row. Sumo, upright row. You can do this with a kettlebell, a water jug, or you can do this with a dumbbell. We're working the traps and the legs. We're doing alternating hand passes for agility, for balance, for coordination, for grip strength. It's a shoulder press. And we're gonna do a lateral raise, this time with palms facing back and elbows going up. Remember, control it, 
don't throw it. Make sure you lock the wrist so the wrist is not loose and the weight does not control your wrist. If you have shoulder issues, please be mindful. We're going to do air squats with the jump. Four reps, and we're going to go with sledgehammers. Alternating sledgehammers. Going back with the jumps. And sledgehammers. Last time with the jump. And sledgehammers. And take your breath and bring it safe. 